Jeff, we're just starting off. It's obviously never ideal having a, a game called off so late on, but you know, a game that everyone was really looking, looking forward to against Inverness. Yeah, it certainly was. You know, we were looking forward to it. Um, in the main, Gareth, I think the correct decision was made. Um, but my only question to that would be why was the same situation not two weeks previous to that? Um, but the, the situation we had to have at Queen's Park. So I hopefully it's a learning curve for everyone that the, the right outcome for me has been has been taken this time. But I think that's been the same two weeks ago when our, our game against Queen's Park took place. You know, the fans um, were the most important um, and a lot of them couldn't get there. Um, because of the, the adverse weather conditions that we had over um, the two days leading up to that game. And of course, with a postponement, naturally comes a, an unplanned weekend of the players getting some rest. Do you think that'll play any part going into to tomorrow's game? Yeah, no, they should be a lot fresher. You know, they've, they've not the, the rigorous of 90 minutes um, in their body, so they've had time to, to recover, and that's what I'm hoping that we have a, a positive outcome um, tomorrow, come five o'clock. You know, it's a, a game that we, we need to be picking up points. Um, but the games last season against them were, were, were tough games, you know, um, here and at Somerset. So we're looking forward to the game tomorrow um, and a positive. We've already played them this season and, and beat them here 3-1 at home. So, um, But that, that doesn't count for too much, you know. Um, in the last few few weeks, sorry, here I've picked up valuable points, um, especially the last two games away from home, um, picking up six out of six. So they're on, the, they're on the up, so we need to be ready for that. Yeah, and just overall, you know, especially going down to Somerset Park, what are you expecting of Aaron? You know, you know, Lee inside. Yeah, listen, Lee, I've got a lot of admiration for him. You know, he's came into here kind of similar time myself coming to Morton. Um, we've done a terrific job last season. Um, a bit like with ourselves this season, the season's not got off to the greatest of starts, um, but he's starting to pick up, and hopefully, we can do that as well in the next few weeks. You know, we've got three games this uh, week coming, so we want to capitalise on that too, being at home. Um, but Lee's always gets teams ready, set up, uh, well organised, um, and want to play football. He's changed the way he wants to play this season. Um, you can see that from what he played for the back, etc. Um, and that's that's his um, philosophy. So um, I appreciate that. But for us, we have to get at them. You mentioned the previous games against there, and obviously the one at the start of the season where we get the win. You know, does does that play a part going into tomorrow? Having maybe last season where you know they went unbeaten against us to get that win so early on, give the boys a lot of confidence going into tomorrow. Um, well, we obviously beat them in the cup last season, um, but you're right, it was it was a tough opponent last season, um, but we managed to to beat them the first game of the season. Um, I, I would imagine the game tomorrow will be tough and tumble. Um, two teams going at it, looking to win the game. Um, in any game we go into. Um, we always look to win the game for for our club, um, and it'll be no different tomorrow. You know, um, we've got a, a strong guest squad, um, albeit Dara and Jai are still um, out injured along with Jack Hartner. So um, the rest of the boys are fit and available, and we'll pick a team tomorrow that we think will go on and win the game. 